Hi there, it's Uncle Laurie here. Yes, I'm back with another show video. And today is Sunday, Sunday the 3rd of March. And we're doing a lovely shave with Sterling, Sterling Piacenza. It's a lovely cologne type scent. That's a pour there, I haven't used it yet. Oh, what a wonderful citrusy, fresh. Oh, florals, yes. It says it's got rosemary, amber, and musk as well. Mm, a little bit of musk in the background. I don't get the amber, but I get a bit of rosemary. Anyway, it's a lovely scent. And it's based on Parma. Well, I think it's referring to Aqua de Parma Colonia. I don't have that scent and I've never smelled it, so I'm only assuming. So that's what we're using today. And the brush we're using, I've got a big ball brush. It's the Amiga 10049. Upside down. Amiga. It says um, Shave Factory, the Shave Factory on it, but it's actually an Amiga brush. So well, I've had it soaking, so I'll put it back in the soak. It's been soaking for probably 10, 15 minutes. And the bowl we're going to use, you're going to use this big bowl because we've got the big bowl brush. The big plastic soup bowl with the sticker in the bottom. From a shower sticker, which will help um, with the agitation. And I'm going to use a, a level tea, level half teaspoon, sorry, of soap today because of the big ball brush. Um, what else are we using? Oh, the razor. We've got a bit of a controversial razor today. This is the Yaki. Sputnik aluminium razor and it's a, um, a virtual clone of the Hone razor even the uh, stand that it comes with anyway that's what we're using and in there I've got the um, Wismet blade super iridium on its uh, second use Alright, um, that's it. Okay, let's get into the post shave. Not post shave, pre shave. Tongue's all tied up again. Wet the face. Using our Svetsicle. Getting right down now. Probably only. Shave or two left. Yep, shave or two. Now we'll start on something different. Just rub it in. I've got uh, a three days growth. I haven't shaved since Thursday. Since my uncle's uh, funeral or birthday, whatever one you want to call it. Maybe his remembrance day. about remembering his life. He had a good life. Just a pity he didn't get quite to 100. He did try, he said he wanted to get to 100 but he, he just couldn't make it. Alright then, we'll go and produce the lather now and we'll come back. 
Okay then, we're ready our overhead cam. Ready to go. We've already got the uh, level half teaspoon squashed in there, which is about two and a half grams. That's a uh, quite a lot. But I've got a big ball brush, so it's going to need it, I think. Give it a squeeze and a shake, and we'll get started. You can see it's moist. Okay, I'm back from that leather reduction. Let's have a look at it. Looks very nice to me, as we expect from sterling. Lovely pleasant scent, very cologne, citrusy, bit of florals. Yes, wonderful scent. Scent strength about um, mid strength, five. Call it 5 out of 10 at the moment. I'll re wet the face. So, this ball brush I've got, um, I've had it for about 6 or 7 years, so it's a well broken in one. In actual fact, I used it exclusively. Uh, for about three years, I think, before I started getting into the synthetic brushes. That's a lovely brush. Nothing like a good, well broken in wall brush. Yeah, I've got a solid scent strength coming off now. Now it's on my face. I'll call it, um, say, 6 out of 10 now. Wonderful scent. Uh, grams looks about uh, a little bit too much. I think about two grams would have been in, uh, okay with that brush. So I'll just put a little bit of gum on my fingers. I've got the blade in there, nicely aligned. And we'll get started. It's got a uh, one point 
two five millimeter blade gap. And I believe it's a neutral exposure. I do feel the blade a bit though. Not a lot, just to let you know it's there. No problem mowing down this three days growth. So I've only had uh, three shaves this week. Yeah, that's nice. Awesome slickness. Okay, let's get ready for the second layer. <laughs> I'll put plenty on the brush. We'll put a Santa Claus lather on. Very soft tips on this brush. There's no stretch to it at all now. And see how look how easily it paints over the face. And these brushes are only about uh, $25 I think here in Australia. It's Australian dollars. Uh, Tastes very soapy, yes. Okay, cross the grain. It may be controversial, but it does shave well. Maybe one day I'll get the original. Um. Very nice, very slick. Love the re residual on that. I'm just doing a light touch down the bottom here, down the bottom of the neck. Piacenza is actually uh, a town in the north of Italy, uh, provincial capital. Quite a historic city as we expect from Italy. That's about 100,000 people I think. Wonderful. Oh, that is slick. Okay. Just touch more moisture. It's quite efficient, this razor. Which you expect with a big gap like uh, 1.25. Yeah, 
then lots of lather left over. But I aired on the side of caution with a big bore on. They can soak up the lather a bit. Sorry, I didn't do that bit in the camera. there to stretch the skin a little bit. The other way is puff your cheeks out. Now I did nick myself the other day. the same razor. <laughs> Just here you probably see it. I might re-nick that. No. See, I'm doing some of that on the residual, and there's plenty of it left. That's a lovely shave so far. Just a few touch ups along the jawline, a little bit on the chin. The sash area is quite good, cheeks are fine. Okay, let's get a little bit of moisture on. Very slick. It's so slick I'm going to need a little bit more yarn. Just a little bit on the jawline.
Very nice. I'll be very careful with some Got lots of folds in my skin these days. Gotta make sure I stretch it a bit with you know leaning over. Or holding it. Okay. I don't seem to have re myself. That's a lovely shave. Mm. Very close. That's not a BBS for me. Alright, I'll rinse that off. We'll do a quick arm test. Plenty of slickness left over on my skin. Okay, let's check around. Just a couple of tingles. Nothing more than a one. A little bit on the side here. Yeah, about a one. Nothing more than that. Just a couple of tingles. Beautiful shave. It's a good match with the Wismet blade there. Let's rinse that off. And we'll gather a leftover leather. There's quite a bit of it left, as you can see. <laughs> Look at that. Still in wonderful condition. Yes, two, gram <laughs> two and a half grams is more than enough. I can probably do a head shave as well with that. Alright then, I'll put this on my face, then have a shower, come back for the post shave. Okay, I'm back from the shower, and oh, what a wonderful shave. Now that's close to BBS, close as I get anyway. Beautiful shave. Alright then, let's get into the post shave. We're starting off with the Imperial Bergamot, as you can see. Not a lot left. <sighs> Wonderful. I'll get up under there. <sighs> then we're going another Italian product. Parasso Prebarba. As my post shave balm. You 
can use it for pre-shave or post-shave or both if you like Too close to the eyes, it's mentholated. Lovely. Now the final ingredient, we're going with 4711, which is, I think is a good match for the um, Piacenza. Hmm. Got that citrusy vibe to it. Four seven eleven will match just about anything, really. Ah, that's wonderful. Okay, that's my shave today. Thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you on my next shave. Cheers.